Hey guys! Today's look is from the Canes Film Festival that's going on. Woohoo! It's going on until I think like the 27th, so check it out if you haven't, all the pictures. But this look was worn by Frida Pinto on the red carpet, and I really, really, really liked it. It's like this kind of soft, silver, smoky eye ish thing. But I really like it. So here are the colors that I use from my Sephora kit. Ta-da! Just a couple. Not that many. Ooh. This is the lightest gray that we use. That um, starts out on the bottom lid. This is the darker gray that we use to put right on top of it. And on the bottom lash line. Um... Oh, and also on the bottom lash line, I mixed this gray with this kind of bluish one, just to get it a little bit darker. And then for the brown, right here, this is, this one was the first matte brown that I used, just like as that base color on the crease. And then this brown is the one that we went over the crease color with. So that's it. Not that many... Oh, not that many eyeshadows for this look. And that's it. i show you everything else. Okay, so let's get started again. This is from the Canes Film Festival. It was worn by Frida Pinto. First, I'm starting off using Smashbox Photo Ready Illuminating Primer. It gives a nice kind of glow to your skin. And then next, I'm doing Hello Flawless Benefit Foundation in Honey. I'm going to stipple that all over my face and then blend it in using little tiny circles. After that, I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion in Original, and I'm adding that to my top lid and lower lash line. Next, I'm taking this really soft matte brown color and we're going to add that above the crease and then in the crease and just really blend that color in well. After that, I'm taking a little bit darker brown, but it's still a very light, soft brown and adding that right over that matte brown. Next, I'm taking a light silver color, and I'm just going to be patting that on the lower lid. Next, I'm taking a darker silver color and applying that right over that light silver that we just did, just by patting it again on the lower lid, getting the color in there really well. Next, I am taking that same color with a big pencil brush and I'm going to sweep that dark silver right underneath my lower lash line and going all the way across. Next, I'm taking that light silver and we're going to be applying this to the lower lash line, but more towards the tear duct and up. Next, I'm taking a Stilla Liquid Black Eyeliner, and we're going to apply this only to our upper lid. And you're not gonna make a cat eye or anything like this. It's just gonna be a very simple line all the way across your eye. Next, I'm taking a Smashbox black eyeliner pencil, and we're going to be lining the upper and lower water rims of your eye. After that, I'm taking a color that's almost the color of my uh, skin. Try to find a color that's that color. 
and we're just this is going to go right underneath our brow so it's kind of like a highlighter and it's kind of controlling those top colors too you can really blend it in well after that I'm taking L'Oreal telescopic uh, mascara in carbon black and I'm adding that to the upper and lower lashes and then of course after that I'm taking makeup forever HD concealer and patting that under my under eyes to help clean up all that sparkly fallout that you can see and again this will help shape the eyeshadows next I'm taking a bronzer by Tarte and this is from their Amazonian clay line and I'm going to be applying this to my temples and forehead and my jawline not really contouring the cheeks at all. Frida doesn't really have contoured cheeks in this look. This will really help warm up the face. And I'm also going to contour my nose, but very, very lightly. Next, I am taking a blush by Benefit. And this blush is very, very subtle and just gives a hint of a little bit of a pink glow. After that, I'm going to do my brows. I'm using Laura Mercier Fair Blonde Eyebrow Pencil. Next, for the lips, I'm using a lip liner by Makeup Forever. This will is the kind of the color of my lips but just a little bit darker in this look you can clearly see that Frida's lips are outlined so after we line our lips I'm just going to take a lip gloss by Mac it's very sheer it just gives this light pink color and we're just gonna apply that right over so you can clearly still see that our line that our lips are lined okay guys so this is the final look again it was worn by Frida Pinto a couple days ago at the Canes Film Festival so uh, click on the link below to check out my blog there you can see the inspiration of Frida herself and uh, final pictures of this look and also all the products that I used in this video. So thank you again for tuning in and have a wonderful week you guys. The weather is beautiful. Go play outside. Peace and love.